Welcome back to another video update. In this video I'm going to show what I've been working on for the past 20 hours basically and that is the pathfinding system, the flight behaviors, and uh, other things. So one, I fixed the stuttering issue with the physics. So uh, I am recording this video at 40 frames per second and the alpha from the render is 60 frames. So if you see a little jitter in the video, that's because there's a, a frame difference from the video to the, uh, the render to the video difference. But as far as in the actual game build, uh, I'm not seeing any stuttering uh, at all of the physics rigid bodies whenever the ship rotates. It basically looks smooth as butter now. Uh, so what you're seeing on the screen is the green line is the current target and the blue line is a pathfinding avoidance, collision avoidance target that is set when the pathfinding is acting, activated and a course is plotted around an object. Now the pathfinding uh, can be interrupted if the path itself becomes obstructed during the uh, course during the while the ship is actually navigating the set course uh, because my pathfinding system does use both a single vector point and a vector point chain if uh, it cannot avoid the object with a single vector point it will uh, plot a waypoint chain to follow around an object. When it comes to smaller objects, unless the all the uh, near points on the near point grid are blocked, it will most of the time only use a single vector point and not a chain. So what you're seeing, uh, you're seeing lights. Those are, I've been working on some visual effects for the explosions of ships. Uh, Cause I wanted to have a, you know, a light basically light up with the particle effects and light all the ships around it. So that's something I'm still working on. Another thing I had to fix was that took quite a while was the projectile rendering system, which uh, I had to do quite a bit of work to to support uh, more batches because you can only have up to 1,024 projectiles in a batch and then you have to create a new batch array for the draw mesh renderer. So what the ship is doing now is uh, it's targeting and if it has to pathfind or avoid or break off from that target, it will basically uh, start searching for a new target of opportunity, which is going to be a nearby ship at the uh, smallest possible angle, right? So that's why you'll see it generally most of the time uh, when it breaks away, it's going to head straight for something else that's already in front of it, as opposed to turning around uh, to go to a ship that's behind it and the furthest possible angle and distance away from the ship. So you can see it there avoiding the debris that came from that exploding ship. Uh, I haven't added a uh, auto aim assist feature for the weapon hardpoints that fire in the forward direction only yet. 
because uh, it's actually working pretty well right now. It's actually hitting targets even with the fixed point forward firing weapons. Even these ships that I set up to be harder to hit, like these fast moving, the one that's targeting right now is a faster moving ship. I also made some changes to the physics, so ships more uh, have more of a uh, kind of slide. Uh, they have less drag, basically. Uh, so you see it's more spacey-like. A little bit more Newtonian, but not fully Newtonian. Uh, that does have a very slight drag. Because I'm not really going for you know, full Newtonian physics here. And you can see it just beautifully avoiding those ships acquiring the target uh, one thing I'm going to be adding pretty soon is uh, the evasion and countermeasure system so what that'll do is when ships take start to take damage so for example this ship ahead of me right now that I'm attacking will have a uh, system to detect uh, large amounts of incoming damage in a short time frame and then it will, uh, when that happens, it'll employ a tactic system, a, a, a tactics evasion and countermeasure system, uh, which will be determined based upon the sh class of ship attacking it, and then also what kind of counter countermeasures or evasion tactics algorithms that that ship possesses that it can deploy. So some ships may have uh, seeker mines, for example, or may have uh, rear firing missiles or different uh, things or abilities that will be triggered as an evasion countermeasure. And that's to help prevent uh, attacking enemies from basically just getting behind them and shooting them until they're dead. So they need to react, right? Just like if there was a human pilot your ship was taking a lot of damage, uh, you're gonna do something, right? You're not just gonna sit there and keep flying and keep attacking whatever target you're attacking. These ships here that don't have indicators, those are on my team, the team that I'm assigned to currently, so you don't see any targeting indicators on them currently. But I may add some later to uh, make the player aware that these are their ships. Actually, those ships there should have indicators, but I don't see them, so that's something I'm going to need to take a look at.
and it appears that those two ships are the only ones uh, left on the enemy team is that destroyer there and that uh, supply ship And it'd probably take quite a while for me to, for this AI to take down one of those ships. Uh, they are smaller right now because I did uh, scale up the world um, by a third because I had some floating point precision issues. But I'm fixing to also be deploying a floating origin system. Uh, I thought that if I could scale down the world enough, I could avoid needing to use floating origin but that appears to not be the case. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and I'm pretty excited to uh, see what happens with development this week. And when I come back with another update, should be quite interesting. Thanks for watching, and have a good day, everyone.